Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to another uh, video of mine. Uh, this is uh, Sean and uh, I'm gonna, today I'm going to be uh, talking to you about uh, crystal angels, what they represent and how they can protect you. Now in the spiritual realm, angels can uh, assume different entities. They can be uh, loved ones who've passed on, they can uh, be our spirit guides, they can be archangels, they can be uh, several things, the list goes on. Now when we think of angels, we think of them as uh, heavenly ethereal beings uh, sent here uh, to protect us from danger. Well, this is what uh, crystal angels can do for us. Uh, whenever we meditate, they can uh, give us visions to uh, help us, guide us, whenever uh, we seek advice from our higher spirits. Whenever you're doing any kind of uh, divination or a spiritual practice, these uh, entities can um, be embedded into these uh, crystal angels, which can uh, help you along uh, your spiritual path. Now, as you can see here, this is uh, my collection of crystal angels. Um, they can be carved out of uh, many different kinds of uh, stone, and they come in different sizes. And uh, as you can see here in the background, I've got uh, Archangels Michael, Gabriel, and uh, Raphael providing um, extra protection for uh, the purposes of this video. I'll just um, go ahead and uh, show you every uh, single piece here individually, and I'm sure you'll find each one of them uh, just absolutely beautiful. So I'll start off by um, showing you this uh, orange calcite angel. Very pretty. Can uh, boost your um, energy initiative by placing it uh, either on the uh, solar plexus or sacral chakra. Yeah, I've had this uh, for a couple of years now. And um, I don't use it all that often, but uh, nevertheless, it is quite a val valuable piece to my collection. Now I've now I've got a uh, small piece here. This is a uh, Dalmatian Jasper. Yep, resembles the uh, fur of a Dalmatian dog. And uh, yep, this brings out the. Um, Sunny side of life, not to take life too seriously. Yep, doesn't just look like a dog machine dog, but uh, kind of uh, resembles cookies and cream ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I've got another uh, small piece here. This one's uh, made out of pyrite. Uh, whenever I need a uh, boost in uh, masculinity, if I need to. Uh, if I need to uh, develop, develop more uh, initiative, courage, I'll work with this one. Yes. Very strong and powerful. Yeah. Next here, I have uh, one in uh, Lapis Lazuli. Yep. I uh, like working with this uh, quite a bit, actually, by placing it on the uh, third eye. Or what I'll do, um, what I've been doing uh, quite often now is uh, whenever I meditate, I'll sit and uh, I'll place this piece on my foot. So that way I can uh, absorb its energies and um, activate uh, the third eye so uh, my higher guides can speak with me. Yes. Quite regal. Absolutely majestic. There we go. Lapis Lazuli. For um, abundance, I'll use this. Uh, one in Golden Tiger Eye. Yeah. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. I just uh, love the uh, colors of a uh, brownish, golden brown and uh, black. Uh, just mixed together. Just makes an absolutely stunning piece. There you have it, Golden Tiger Eye. 
I have another one here in uh, Carnelian. Yes, um, whenever I need to acti activate my uh, Sacral Chakra, I'd prefer to use this rather than the uh, Orange Calcite. Yeah, Carnelian is my uh, go-to stone whenever I need to uh, work on my uh, Sacral Chakra. It uh, is my uh, go-to uh, stone for my uh, Sacral Chakra. Yep, Carnelian. And for uh, enhancing my uh, psychic abilities, I've got, I use this here, Labradorite. Yeah. Can, uh, um, I don't know if you can notice the uh, streaks of uh, blue, but uh, it is a very stunning piece. One of my uh, favorite crystals. Yeah, you can see just a little bit of blue coming from the uh, sunlight outside. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just absolutely uh, heavenly. And to uh, enhance communication on a practical level, I'll use uh, this uh, angel made out of a uh, soda light. Yeah. Just, uh, poor man's lapis. Yes. But uh, regardless, uh, a very um, powerful guardian for um, protecting me against uh, whatever danger comes my way. Yes, here it is, Soda Light. I don't use uh, this particular one uh, quite often, actually very rarely, but uh, it is a nebula stone. It uh, enables one to... Uh, connect with the extraterrestrials out there uh, in the further universe. Um, if you want to um, develop more uh, understanding of the uh, universe multiverse and uh, just um, develop more intergalactic intelligence, um, you can use this one. But um, I think uh, almost every average uh, crystal collector knows that uh, to develop, to develop that uh, higher um, intergalactic intelligence, knowledge of the u universes, that uh, Moldavite is the way to go. But um, I have another uh, video about Moldavite. You can check that out. But um, we're getting a. But uh, let's uh, focus on the angels. Yes, our blessings. And for uh, heavenly love. I've got rose quartz, yeah. There's a little bit of a crack here, but um, I was able to um, heal uh, this body. <laughs> but uh, yes, rose quartz will uh, provide gentle energy towards uh, my uh, meditations and uh, keep me um, grounded to my uh, close relationship with my uh, better half. Yes, Rose Quartz. And uh, I've got another one here in uh, Amethyst. Yes, very, uh, I love the uh, deep purple and uh, See uh, it's white streaks here. Yes, uh, enables uh, your crystal uh, angel in the form of am amethyst can uh, really open up the uh, crown chakra, and um, which will enable you to um, open up uh, channels towards uh, your higher guides and uh, to the higher uh, chakras like the soul star. In the stellar gateway. <laughs> but, uh, yep, very lovely piece. I uh, quite love it. Yes. So here's Amethyst. And for uh, clarity, to um, clear my mind, uh, senses of uh, any anxieties, worries, just give my overall uh, energy field a cleanse. 
Uh, I've got uh, one here in clear quartz. Yes. Um, this can also, this uh, one right here can also uh, charge uh, any other crystals that are uh, placed on my body while I'm meditating, which can uh, enhance the uh, meditation even further, bring even more relaxation, um, more uh, vivid uh, visions uh, produced in the third eye, and uh, clear messages from your guides. Yes, so, um, yep, clear quartz. And I've got one here in red jasper to uh, further enhance my uh, physical stamina, prowess. Yep. And uh, I've got, to, I also have another uh, red jasper angel, which is uh, larger. And um, I'll show you that to you momentarily. And I've got another one here in Mahogany Obsidian. Just love its uh, deep red and black uh, streaks. It's the Trauma Healer. Yes, Mahogany Obsidian. Yes, quite a guy. Now, I don't use this uh, particular piece often either, but here's another uh, amethyst, amethyst Angel. Um... Yeah, it's light. Personally, I uh, enjoy working with uh, shades of amethyst that are darker. Um, yeah, those uh, darker amethysts uh, resonate with me uh, more. I know I have a uh, black amethyst sphere that uh, I'll use fairly often for uh, my uh, divination work. But, um, yeah, regardless, either way, this is uh, still a beautiful, cute little piece here. Yep. So here's another Amethyst Angel. And uh, here's one in Moonstone. It's uh, excellent when you um, want to go to bed to get a solid good night's sleep. If you want to have uh, blissful dreams... Uh, this is the um, crystal that you want to uh, put underneath your pillow. And uh, assuming the uh, form of an angel, your um, dreams uh, shall be uh, very angelic and heavenly. Yes, if you work with this. Yep, here's Moonstone. Now, I bought this uh, piece here the other day. And it's actually fluorite, but uh, it does... Um, look like smoky quartz kind of does look brown but um, yeah I uh, worked with this while I was meditating today and it was quite uh, soothing um, brought more uh, relaxation into um, my uh, time that uh, I spent with my um, higher guides very tranquil, very tranquil. Yes, a fluorite angel. And uh, here's the other uh, red jasper angel I was m talking about. It's larger than the uh, other one that I uh, showed you. And here's a little bit of a white streak. Yeah. Yes, red jasper. Mm-hmm, a very grounding stone. And last but not least, uh, I have another uh, clear quartz angel, but this one's uh, larger than one, the one you uh, saw before. Yeah. I worked with this one uh, while I was meditating today, and uh, yeah, cleared up my senses. And uh, I look forward to uh, working with this piece um, again and again in the future. Yep. So there you have it. So as you can see, crystal angels are um, quite magnificent pieces for uh, a any avid uh, crystal collector. I think I am definitely going to uh, continue to invest more into um, angels, uh, monetary-wise, in the future. I'll buy more uh, of them and add to my 
crystal collection. I would highly recommend uh, if you're going to buy uh, crystal angels that uh, you invest in a uh, glass cabinet, uh, particularly one from Ikea where um, these can be displayed and uh, provide uh, such a beautiful atmosphere to your uh, home. These can uh, also serve as uh, guardians in uh, the sense that they can uh, ward off evil spirits in your home. So uh, you can either uh, keep them in one room or you can uh, place them in every single room of your home. So that way uh, evil spirits have no chance of uh, invading you. Whenever you're doing any kind of a divination or spiritual work with uh, the use of crystal angels, you can call upon the archangels, Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Raphael, and uh, they can in further enhance the um, protection that uh, you can have. So um, there you have it, crystal angels. You can... Uh, Buy these at uh, many uh, participating metaphysical shops. And, uh, yep, quite a uh, valuable uh, asset to your crystal collection. And they will definitely uh, help you out while you are meditating. So I do um, want to thank you for spending the uh, time to watch this uh, video. I uh, hope that you learned something and found it to be uh, helpful. And uh, as always, keep uh, working with the uh, magic of crystals. Thank you. Namaste.